Yo, welcome back to another episode of Three Wands, where knowledge is given to you for you to turn into wisdom. It's Lord Shu. I'm back with another one. It's probably going to be one of my favorite episodes. But before we get into anything, I need y'all to click the like button, comment later on or right now in the video about how I can make these videos better. Or if you like the videos at all, or if there's anything I should add to the channel. And also subscribe if you're a new person coming to the channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, family. So today we're going to talk about, of course, Keys to the Island. Uh, we just wrapped up the series talking about the universal laws, the seven core universal laws. Today, we're going to talk about the noticeable pattern. Now, this episode is going to be a little different because the noticeable pattern requires a person to do a lot of research and study about self, the environment around them, the things that they are currently very interested in studying and doing it on an almost obsessive level. I'm about to explain to you what the noticeable pattern is today on this episode of Three Wands. So let's get into it, y'all. The noticeable pattern. In life, as you do many things and experience many different things, you will begin to notice a pattern. Now, in life, our entire universe is built off of math, numbers. For people who are somewhat adept in spirituality, they know what numerology is. Well, numerology is a form of patterns. So any study of the world in general is the study of patterns. So as a polymath, I study many different things. And I've been studying things since I was a child. And throughout my life, I started to notice a pattern of knowledge amongst several different topics all very different. Uh, something in art might have the same pattern as something dealing with science or politics or anything. All topics have a noticeable pattern that weaves them all together. And, and that noticeable pattern is God. That is where God lives. So one who studies many things may be looked down upon in society because right now society praises the specialists and not the generalists. But the one who studies many things, who is a jack of all trades, sees where God intertwines all things to bring things that seem completely disconnected together through some common thread. So this is how you can use the noticeable pattern in your everyday life. First, genuinely study topics that you are truly interested in almost on an obsessive level to the point where you know everything that you could possibly find or you have a desire to seek information on that level, on an obsessive level, and do it over a, I would say a decent range of topics. Let's just say number two, working together with people because the noticeable pattern can work in real time dealing with real human beings. And number three, listen to music. Listening to music will open up your mind to the similarities of melodies, song progression, um, song writing, and music theory in general. Music theory will be the culmination of all music. Where there is hip hop, there is jazz. Where there is pop music, there's country. All of these things have a common thread, a noticeable pattern. So what makes the noticeable pattern very important is that it is truly where spirit and knowledge work together. People are distracted by the differences instead of taking notice and using discernment to truly see the, the commonalities in all things. That's why the noticeable pattern is important because when you work with enough people and you study enough topics and you have enough conversations, having enough experiences, and all of those things, you start to notice the com the commonalities and all of those things. So that's pretty much it for today's episode. If you like this episode, please click that thumbs up button, leave a comment, let me know if this video helped you. If you know someone that you think this video will help, please share it with them. And also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, obviously. Why well, wouldn't you, I'm Lord Shu. Anyways, that's it for today, y'all. It's Lord Shu. Holla!